Mr. Uh, Thomas, I'd like to ask you uh, about uh, the percentage of the implementation of uh, Babco uh, refinery till now. I'm, I'm happy to say that uh, we continue to make great progress on the Babco modernization program, the BMP project. Uh, we are, have already started up some of the utilities uh, and through the course of 2024 we'll begin to bring the actual crude processing units online. So we've continued to make good progress uh, and we're looking forward to 2024 being the year where we introduce crude oil and that will also carry into 2025. What about the cost of this huge project till now? This is the most strategic project in the Kingdom of Bahrain. The surprisingly, the cost of this project has changed very little. Even though we've gone through a period of almost two years of COVID, the contractors and ourselves have managed the project very effectively, and therefore the costs are actually not out of line with what we expected. Okay. Uh, where uh, will uh, this increase of uh, Babco's production be sold? When we start up the refinery, of course, we're increasing the capacity from about 270,000 barrels a day to 380, maybe 400,000 barrels a day. It is a refinery that is predominantly based on export markets. And so today, we expect that we'll be selling all of that product 100%. Uh, be, uh, whatever is required within the Kingdom of Bahrain is the priority. Everything else is sold for export. We have read that uh, Tatwir uh, Petroleum uh, digging some wheels here and there. What about this? And so Tatwir now is called Babco Upstream. It's part of our Babco family. And uh, I'm happy to say we've continued to make progress on the drilling of our pre unesa gas. This is our uh, unconventional gas onshore uh, that we have announced the discovery of in December 2022. We continued through 2023 appraising it and in 2024 we expect to do a development program uh, of uh, uh, around 20 wells uh, in order to fully develop that resource. Uh, related to this event, sustainability event, uh, I'd like to know or to hear more about uh, Babco efforts on uh, sustainability, especially in uh, carbon capture. Well, I think uh, carbon capture is part of Babco Energy's uh, portfolio that we're looking at to um, support sustainability. Right now, what we're looking at, how do we actually decarbonize our existing operations? That's the priority for us in 2024. Things like, how do we reduce flaring values? How do we reduce uh, uh, fugitive emissions? That's our focus. We're also developing a carbon capture and storage project. But beyond that, we're looking at solar developments, we're looking at hydrogen technologies, and so on. So this is all part of a program that uh, we've spent 2023 developing, and 2024 is all about action.